Today's journey through aesthetic realms will be presented in Cantor with subtitles in Arabic, Olasis of Vietnamese, Chinese, English, French, German, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Mongolian, Persian, Portuguese, Russian, and Spanish. Cameroon is a country where they don't give for small Africa, for Sika, a kind can plant and animal them, and for a culture too. With the tribes and where they more than 250, Cameroon is a really wonderful place for legend them. Bamenda, capital for the northwest region for Cameroon, a wonderful example for the country he liveliness and way for invent things them and fresh push them. The town the people then get warm hearts and they do work plenty. That traditional regalia for Bamenda, some wonderful clothes, a great example for the impressive culture where they get them. For the program, maybe we start for see the wonderful art with person where they, they call and say Miss Boom Caroline Aborigon, where be manager for that famous African craft center for Sonak Street, here for Bamenda. Hello everyone and welcome to the Sonak Street Craft Center in Bamenda, the northwest region of Cameroon. I am Miss Ngum Caroline Aborigon and I am responsible for the day-to-day -day running of this craft center. We deal with a variety of traditional craft items including stools, traditional bags and others. Most particularly, we are experts in producing the famous northwest traditional regalia, which is one of the most respectable cultural items to the northwesterners and the grass field as a whole. We produce traditional regalias for all ethnic groups in the Northwest region of Cameroon. Any person for the tribe or culture, if you wear the clothes. But the one we found or cheap that you wear them, a bit different from the one where other people that you wear them, as Miss Boom would tell you. The regalia worn by the forms, that is, our traditional rulers, are designed in a different form from those worn by ordinary people. The regalia for the fonts is designed with a symbol of the sun in front and behind of the dress to indicate their authority. Man picking them and women that they wear two bits where they enjoy them when they wear the clothes. Women that they wear them too with head tie and man picking that they wear them with cap. Plenty time them, man picking that they hold two back. To render the dress more beautiful without changing its essence, we have added the gold, which we also use different colors of red in producing it. The central portion of the dress has been decorated with something like a star. The people put on this dress in a special solemn occasion, such as the traditional festival, the font's annual celebration, or any other honorable event. Wearing the dress demonstrates dignity, self-esteem, and self-pride. Putting the dress renders an event more gracious. The people who put on this dress, they should behave in a dignified and responsible manner. As a way of affirming the value of the dress. For Northwest region for Cameroon, they get plenty wonderful end of year festival then. Whether they host them for palace then for rulers whether they call and say funds and chiefs them. For that kind of event then, people that they perform and the people that they put on the Bamenda regalia with all the beauty and younger style. That kind of celebration should be like that one for palace for fun for mantle and that one too for palace for fun for barefoot.
This regalia has existed in Bamenda culture since time immemorial. Our cultural heritage has always been passed on from one generation to the other. The very elaborate art of producing the dress has survived the taste of time. Even though we have many modifications to render the dress more adorable, the essential element is fabricating the dress has always remained unchanged. Ms. Ngun Caroline Aborigum, you will tell me now how did they make the rich decorated traditional regalia for Bamenda. To produce this dress, we require various types of material, including the traditional fiber, the various colors of thread, and to make it colorful and beautiful. Firstly, you cut the fabric according to the structures or patterns of the dress you want to produce. Once the fiber has been sewn by the tailor, you design the various colors and put it on a table to sketch your design. It takes about two weeks or a month in producing a single well-fabricated regalia. The most difficult part of it is the neck, which is too difficult because you have to take into consideration the various lines as seen on the dress on my neck. For be able to make the traditional regalia for Bamenda, person get to do some training. It took me two years of devoted efforts to learn how to make this dress. You have to enroll into a workshop that produces a dress and to submit yourself into training like an apprentice. After about two years of right and steady effort, you come out being a skillful producer of the traditional regalia. Now, May we meet up here with the make the clothes then? Ms. Ambe Odile Angokum and Mr. Clement Ambe where they day for the Northwest region for Cameroon. And then Ambe Odile Angokum. I choose Odile work because it really helps and I like the work plenty. I like the work because when you beautify women and men, they have children. When you wear a be very fine for inside. I learn and I only for about four years from people when they don't first learn and like baby mommy them too so when they first learn and before I learn and do for them. My name is Clement Ambe from Barfoot. I did do tailoring and embroidering, higher tailoring and embroidering. The traditional way for men, women and children. This work when I when I work when I enjoy with it, people that they like them, picking that they wear them, that they like them too so much. For me, it gives me more income. It gives me income for men picking them for school, for men my own self, for men my whole family, and for my own village. For Sonap Street for African Craft Center, Miss Ngum Caroline Aborigum they make clothes for all kind of people them. There are dresses that we design to fabricate to, to suit ourselves and display them in the shop for people to come and acquire. But also, we work in a very flexible manner. Therefore, people can come in with their designs or models that they want their dress to be made and we will do to satisfy their taste. We don't deviate from the cultural essence of the dress. Traditional regalia for Bamenda, a be known for the country, the Minister for Culture, as one of Cameroon's special things them where we ancestor they live on for we. They they used to showcase here for plenty international events them for culture and they know it for plenty of place them for the world. For our customers they come from all around the world. Indeed the local people are very pleased with our contributions in preserving the wonderful part of culture. Over the past one year we have trained over a hundred people in the workshop who now have the skill necessary in producing a dress for themselves. That is, how we keep our culture alive and at the same time earning a lively food. The local people support us a lot by coming here for us to train them and to give us considerations on how to do our work to encourage us in the way we carry on with our activities. With the town is Ngum Carolan Aborigum. Ms. Ambe Odila Ngokom and Mr. Clement Ambe for how well you help for show people this traditional regalia for Bamenda. Make the wonderful mirror for Africa a fine fine beauty for culture and other kind of forms for arts. 
They continue for beautify the country and the world for plenty time for come. May God bless Cameroon. I want to thank the Supreme Master Television for taking the time to come and discover our work here at Sonak Street. It is very nice for people to think and consider others this way. We are pleased and grateful to have been given this opportunity to showcase our beautiful traditional regalias to the world in its globality. Joyful view of them. With the glass here, when I've been there with we, for learn about the fine, fine and respected traditional regalia for Bamenda people them, for the Northwest region for Cameroon. Maybe on a stay, for see sorry hard chop, a good way for live with life them, where it would be show after fine, fine news, here for Supreme Master Television. Maybe on a day, get plenty of grace for peace and joy. Smiling viewers, Thank you for joining us in learning about the exquisite and highly treasured traditional regalia of the Bamenda people in the northwest region of Cameroon. Please stay tuned for vegetarianism, the noble way of living, coming up next after Noodworthy News, here on Supreme Master Television. May your days be graced with peace and joy. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash AJAR.